On Thursday, September 5, Princess Charlotte had her first day at school, accompanying older brother Prince George as Thomas's in Battersea. Charlotte, 4, has joined the reception class, and looked very smart in her school uniform. Shortly after George, 6, and Charlotte were pictured entering school, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge released an adorable snap of the pair on the steps of Kensington Palace. In the photo, the siblings wore their school uniform and had their arm around one another, smiling at the camera. George wore navy shorts, a navy jumper lined with red, and the school's red logo, white shirt, and black shoes with dark socks. Charlotte, on the other hand, wore a white shirt with a navy pinafore, navy, and red cardigan. Walking to school, they had matching navy blue and red school satchels, and Charlotte had customized hers with a pink sequined unicorn charm. The picture of the Cambridge children has made some royal fans think back to when Prince William and Prince Harry started school. On Prince Harry's first day of school, he and older brother William stood for a photo as Princess Diana looked on proudly. In another snap, Harry can be seen looking up to his older brother in admiration. The two boys wore a nearly identical school uniform to George and Charlotte when they attended Weatherby School. William and Harry wore grey blazers with red trim and red school logo, matching grey and red hats, navy blue shorts and white shirts with red ties. Both William and Harry smiled at the camera, with William looking protective of his younger brother. The pair posed on the steps of their school as Mum Diana dropped them off. Weatherby School where Harry and William attended is an independent school for boys aged two and a half to 18 years old. The school has locations in Westminster, Notting Hill, and Marylebone. George and Charlotte will have another familiar face at Thomas's as cousin Maud Windsor is in the same year as George. Maud is the daughter of Lord Frederick Windsor, who is the only son of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. There was a similar adorable picture captured when Maud started school for the first time in 2017, walking hand in hand with her father. She wore the same navy pinafore, navy, and red cardigan and white shirt, but completed her uniform with a red hairband to hold back her curly hair. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis tend to steal the spotlight at every royal outing they attend, much like Prince William and, and Prince Harry did during their childhood years, but that's not the only thing the children seem to have in common with their elders. An insider recently revealed that George and Charlotte's personalities already mimic that of their father and uncles. George is more reserved, and Charlotte is more outgoing, the insider said. Maybe it's because he's the heir and one day he might be king. It's the same difference between William and Harry, they added. Harry is much more laid back and William is the more serious one because he will be king one day. The royal children's personalities were on full display at the inaugural King's Cup put on by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge earlier this month. While George watched the race closely with his new toothy, ER, toothless, smile, Charlotte famously made headlines for sticking her tongue out at her grandfather, a move originally made famous by Harry. People magazine noted that although George will one day hold the highest royal title, Prince William and Kate Middleton treat all of their children the same. The Sun reported earlier this year that the royal couple even made the decision to wait to tell George about his royal status until he's much older. I love my children in the same way any father does, and I hope George loves me the same any son does to his father. We are very normal in that sense, William said. In another attempt to be very normal, the Cambridge siblings will go to the same private school. While it might not seem like a big deal, many royal children before them were taught by a governess at home or sent to boarding school. Prince William became the first future king to attend public school alongside Prince Harry, thanks to the insistence of their mother, Princess Diana. The decision to have William develop his finger-painting skills among commoners showed the influence of Diana, Princess of Wales, who had worked in a nursery school herself when she was just a lady, a Newsweek article stated back in 1985. Charlotte will join George at Thomas's Battersea London Day School in September. She can't wait to be with George at big school, the insider said. They are close in age, and they spend so much time together. 
Playdates with outsiders can be tricky, so they learn to lean on each other.